Just representing Dev, so the, the Rogotsky stuff means there's a lot of ups. All over the world, in small archives, beneath the water, in old monasteries, in modern libraries, everywhere, just like a gift that needs to be unwrapped, lies our past. HMAP ideally uh, wants to understand the whole relationship between uh, humans and the water world. History of Marine Animal Populations is a global initiative that explores the ocean's past across the world. At the heart of HMAP are the 16 field projects that involved more than 100 researchers since HMAP began in 2001. We know a lot about how the oceans look today, but when we look at that information, we need to know also, is this a healthy state? Have the oceans changed? Uh, have the oceans changed because of human interference? Uh, have changes uh, been uh, coming because of climate change? We have a lot of questions which we can only answer if we look at historical information. That's what we're doing. This was a fishery which developed uh, only uh, during the 1920s. HMAP is also a part of the Census of Marine Life a 10-year initiative running from 2000 to 2010. The groups within COML are looking at marine life in the oceans, past, present, and future. But where does one start to accurately assess the condition of life in an ocean through a span of time? You need a baseline in order to establish uh, where you come from. Anyone wants to know about the goal. Uh, and, and when you break the, the goal line, you can only know how many uh, yards you have actually uh, put behind you if you know where you came from. That's blatantly obvious in sports, but it's also important, uh, say, when you uh, look at the health of an ecosystem. But on the side to be able to analyze the history of life in the oceans on a global level, a strong interdisciplinary initiative and teamwork on an international level is imperative. Archaeologists, historians, biologists, uh, paleontologists, uh, people of many, many uh, different training backgrounds uh, have come together, pulled all their talents together uh, and answered uh, questions which can only be answered by a true combination of many talents. Through the study of archaeological materials like fish bones from kitchen middens, written records such as tax accounts, logbooks, magazines, and records from, for example, hospital ships. The researchers are able to reconstruct snapshots describing how the sea looked in the past at different times. We now know that uh, the uh, productivity of the oceans uh, used to be 10, 15 times larger uh, for the upper uh, trophic layers. The big fish used to be much more plentiful. They used to be much larger uh, than they are today. Uh, say, in the North Sea, we are looking at cod today being caught at half a meter's length. A hundred years ago, uh, the cod would be between one and one and a half meters length. Through HMAP, millions of pieces of data have been gathered, and from this, hundreds of articles written. Managers of oceans all over the world can now use that knowledge and apply it into today's management of the seas. When we realize that we have landed ourselves in troubles, history will also provide you with examples of how a different world might look like. Uh, we may look at past states of uh, ecosystems and be inspired to take conservation measures that may correct uh, the present uh, ill health of the sea.